And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the Kansas. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart with similar height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Aurora, Colorado, the Eraser. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. And they 
they set. And they are exchanging leather early. Lee gets hit by that leg kick, and they want to start checking some of these. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Picks it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Three minutes to go here, round one. Misses with that punch. Oh. with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Slips. Oh! And there comes the separation now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Goes to the body there. And they separate. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big leg kick land. Checks that leg kick. Nice punch land over the top. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice leg kick there by Lee. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just missing on the high kick there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. That right hand landed. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. They continue to exchange. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. A swing and a miss by Lee. Leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Take a seat. Come on. Let's get this together. Alright? We've been here before and we're gonna overcome this. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. 
still nice body kick lands. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Came of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice body kick. Until you stop it, I'm gonna keep kicking. Body kick after body kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him. That is how you scramble, folks. Checks the right kick. Changes his stance. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Real quick leg kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, nice overhand left. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Another strike to the head land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand oh, punch. Defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet nicely done. Oh, that's a nice strike. Nice job of hiding that head kick. tie now and he comes through with a big knee well he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots the chin is tucked the hands are high pretty good job defensively thus far great job defensively he's seeing everything coming well a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round he has found the rhythm and found his striking range scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Punches block. Oh, perfect head kick there. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Big knee to the body. Powerful leg kick land. Beautiful punch. Slips that left hand. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Wow, what a head kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. That one is thrown to end the fight. Oh, straight connection right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first and it got right to the target. Hands high, hands high. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Beautiful leg kick throw. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Final seconds here of round two. And they separate. Round three next. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round. And there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear 
his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progress. That's what I like to see. You fell back to your training. Kept your hands up. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. It's better in the round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Clean left punch followed by the right. Well, missed on that one. Punch coming, it's blocked. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful kick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was gonna do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started he was gonna go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Way to hide that leg kick. Just misses with that one. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. It's such a fast leg kick. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Big punch land for the middle. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, then a left. And they separate. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Out of range with that one. Visibly limping here. Over and over, he's landed with big body. Kicks. Back and forth we go here. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. There's no tell on that leg kick. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, he heard a bat with the jab. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, nice elbow. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Head kick lands. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he just continues to put. Oh, 
on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Ten seconds, on the clock. seconds winding down in round three. So in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Breath. Relax. You're okay. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're going to... All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch over the top. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the seat right now. Oh, he might be out. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Whiffs on that offer. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice leg kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He's gotta whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big left hand there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to. Lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That was a thudding leg kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight punch lands. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Nice kick. Looking to time that counter kick. Just over two minutes now to go. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, and he caught the kick. Man. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. He's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact 
right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quick. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Open St. Fruit has got to like that transition there. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done, absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. play as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number four. For the winner by submission, the eraser. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his 